There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital. Someplace unsecure. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them. No, it's not that. How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Vector status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Please visit any of our Elcos Combine affiliates. Welcome to Kanala Exports. At Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Cultivate your serenity and Kanala Exports. Even during times of crisis. Listen, I thought of something. No, we can't wait until we security vids bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you, Max. Clamming I have some skills to run. Welcome to CASA Fabrication Weaponry.
goods have been marked down Thank with you our for shopping at Osmo discount. Fabrication Weaponry. Welcome to the Sedell gift shop. All proceeds will stay strictly to the Libertarian War effort. Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, cease it. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The Commander's right. Welcome to Agor Munitions. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. Please obey Cerberus all local government Citadel restrictions when purchasing protective equipment. Powered armor. I doubt they need one of my pistols. Okay, you're right. Just, just be careful. Agor Munitions. For deals you never see coming. Thank you for shopping at Agor. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Proceeds from all sales go to help the troops on Palavan. We appreciate your visit. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a potential security leak. I haven't seen anything major yet, but better to be safe, right? If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense, security, and take down anyone who's I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody. Kill him or bring What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Yeah. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Right. Don't answer that. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds will stay strictly to go to the Maturian War Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little presence Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. It's my money, and I'm closing my account. You're Have you seen Palavin? Or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here, you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money is Commander, we need to talk before you ship out. Things got pretty crazy. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Last time you doubted me, you walked away. Why not this time? I couldn't. Too much at stake if I made a mistake. It almost meant blowing my head off, but you were willing to die for what you thought was right. We'll need that in the fight to come. I'd rather be shooting the bad guys than my commanding officer. We stopped Udina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. 
How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know, but we don't have a choice. No, we don't. I also wanted to tell you, Hackett offered me a position on his team. Would you consider riding this out aboard the Normandy? You're serious? We need the best, Williams. Okay, Commander. I'm in. Good. Grab your gear. I'll do that. And Williams. Yeah? Keep your gun pointed at the Reapers. Will do, Commander. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Shio. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari are throwing in their support, and the Solarians are completely on board now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly. Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Cerberus, Reapers. They'll all pay for this war. One way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but... I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? 
I believe so. Yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks.
Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus' strength in the coup attempt was their sleeper agents. If those agents had been exposed, a lot of lives might have been saved. We need constant vigilance. C-Sec and the troops can't do this alone. We've lost a major portion of our government, the most obvious human figure being the Counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? That's an irresponsible and dangerous question to ask in the middle of a war. We're done here. But... We're done. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night, and stay strong. Well, I suppose I could have played that better. I'm sure you're not fond of me right now, but I asked the question millions of people are asking. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Lola. I guess... maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. As a leader, you've got a job to do. Keeping everyone alive isn't it. If you're afraid to send your troops into a do-or-die situation, you'll never succeed. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime.
Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there? I heard what happened. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down, yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. reports on the council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans. ...and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but... ...it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but... ...I keep thinking that if we fail... ...I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Or you could keep fighting. I know. It's just... ...difficult. Watching you get shot at out there. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you. Flatterer. I try. I'll see you soon, Shepard. is available on the private messages terminal. Have a moment, Commander. Commander, there's something on the Citadel you might want to look into. What's going on, Doctor? A group of refugees arrived at the Citadel recently, flush with military-grade medical supplies and equipment. I cataloged our inventory. We have an excess of medical supplies for treating contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Exactly. Perhaps you could broker a trade with them. We'll see. Please think about it. The trade would help everyone. A man named Tactus keeps them organized near the Citadel docks. The equipment they have might even allow me to enhance the effects of our medigel.
Phoenix Commander, that GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? Allers, I need you to leave the Normandy. You're kidding. You're not kidding. Is there a reason? What do you think? Uh, I think I should start packing. Settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the Cosmic Imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Maybe. Or maybe you'd still be a soldier. I do wonder sometimes. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. Does it get to you? It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Shepard, I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, 
That was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. <laughs>